Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of our RimWorld 1.0 playthrough with the Cold Foresters. We are sitting here looking over NG, who, I believe, uh, yes, got a little bit uh, too close to a grizzly bear uh, that took the life of uh, Dear Paco Jr., one of our alpacas. Uh, I have it paused now because I kind of want to get on some of these major break risks. We have a uh, psychoid drone, psychic drone, uh, that's, I think, heavy right now. It's not saying the intensity here, is it? No, but I remember it being a pretty strongly, uh, pretty strong in the intensity. So we're gonna get some of these uh, people who are most severely affected uh, queued up to put on some of these uh, psychic foil helmets. Mike, for example, one of our stronger colonists. You can see his little sliver of a bar there. We'll get you get get you uh, one of those on. Let's see, we've got Julian and Big Red. Big Red for sure. You're sleeping. This is probably not gonna help you if I wake you up. But I'm, I'm just gonna kind of. Uh, start assigning these before I forget. Julian also sleeping. Well, I don't know. Maybe I don't give it to the people sleeping. Not too late. We're doing it. And it comes down to a tinny or Tico. I guess we'll go a tinny since you're kind of di drilling at the deep drill and probably in a bad mood anyway. Uh, I think that's the last one available. I don't think I stepped on anyone's toes there by assigning it to more than one person. We'll get it going. Bunch of animals here sleeping with Matthew, who's married to Kimmy. Yeah, Matthew, one of our primary trainers, so this works out okay. Um, you know, I was thinking about this room. First of all, this is probably the door that should be held open in case we need to go close it. It's probably easier to do that from the outside. Um, our initial plan was to just burn everything in the room, but that would burn all this stuff. But, you know, we could... I, I don't know if the drills will burn from superheated air or if it will take flames and if it takes flames um, we could just build these over uh, a stone a stone floor and maybe you know put some other things that are made out of stone stuff that won't burn and then go back to using the incendiary traps and burning any bugs that might happen to jump up um, now our block situation is still creeping along and not, not really recovered we did pull some things up so I, I don't know if I'm going to change this room yet if bugs come out here, so be it. Uh, the drill infestations are not quite as intense as the overhead mountain infestations. So I feel like we could handle it if something were to pop out. I mean, this one measly trap isn't going to do much, but um, I think I think we'll live with it. Um, let's see. Okay, good. So some of these granite traps are starting to go in. We have a steel left. Oh, this is set to auto rearm. Maybe that is working. I thought I thought I had disabled auto rearm for all of the steel. Oh, and this one's set to okay. So I thought last episode that wasn't working. Maybe it is. We'll see after these two. Um, Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. Yeah, Arison is now up. Arison went down in our last siege attack. So I'll go ahead and queue up your good chain shotgun over here. So as soon as you're done making smoke leaf joint, come and grab that at your leisure. Now, let's see. Um, yeah, I do want to get kind of some of these blocks in because I want to wall off a few of the infestation areas. We're going to hunt the turkey. Uh, Huber is fighting with Big Red. I'll let them duke it out. I think that'll be okay. We'll remove floor. Um, how did this start, guys? You hurled invective about Huber's abilities. Yeah, that's, that's, that can sting. Um, right, we are putting together, uh, our final two engines of the ship. Oh, this one doesn't quite have the components. Well, I mean, literally the advanced components. But we do have the uranium, and I'm pretty sure we have the plasteel. It seems to be dropped off. The last episode was called Fit to Fly. I thought we left it at a spot where this ship was basically ready to take off. But, you know, we, we have the materials to build this, or at least the means to make the remaining components. So we're not, maybe that wasn't quite accurate, but... We are very close to getting there. Uh, how's this bill? It's only set to go up to six. I'm going to double that. Because um, I, I want to keep making them even if we have a even if we have six. And then, you know, a lot of these pieces take like a big chunk of components. And I don't want to wait to keep making more until until they get dropped off here. So hopefully we'll store up enough to make about two components at once. Uh, let's see, we've got some visitors with items to trade, kind of strolling in here. Big Red's not in the mood. Uh, Serrano, why don't you come over and trade? Major break risk for Tico. Yeah, Tico didn't get the psychic helmet. Uh, so maybe we're in the market for a fifth one. Now that our colony's grown to this size. 
NG is fully healed from the grizzly bear. Excellent. Huber, though. How, how badly did you get hurt there, Huber, from Big Red? A couple bruises and cracks. Nothing, nothing big. You did get bit, though, which is pretty normal for us. We are biters, evidently. Not really anything interesting to sell. Um, you know, some basic weapons, uh, joints. You've got 200, which I guess will take off you with a... Well, hell. You know, why don't we just buy all your pemmican? And we'll sell you a few of these hats. 247, 177, that'll be fine. Take a little extra pemmican. Although our food is doing well, our animal food is doing absolutely fantastic. We got a, a lot of hay coming in. He's bringing hay out for some reason. I guess to make... To fill up this stack, which is a higher priority. Okay. So we're eating into our bug meat a bit. And we'll have enough animal food for a good long while. Growing season recently ended. Uh, we lost some crops to the cold. I was expecting a cold snap, which never came because it was just cold enough anyway. We didn't need a snap to start killing crops. Um, and we had a whole season without growing any psychoid, which is disappointing because we really enjoy our psychoid tea around here. So I'm kind of wondering if... I mean, we do have some growing indoors all the time, but this is not much. And I'm kind of tempted to spend some of our steel... Man, 100 on a couple basins just for the psychoid plants. Just to kind of get that going. We currently have no steel, of course. Um, we are drilling. Lady is playing horseshoes. Fine. Yeah, we've got three drills going here. Um... Yeah, and I am interested in kind of... Uh, let's see, these walls came down. I'm interested in trying to set some of those drills up to mine other things besides steel next go-around. We're starting to look at, um, you know, a need for plasteel and a continued need for uranium. So it'd be nice to kind of get some of that at home uh, while continuing to do caravans to go out on those mining trips. Uh, so let's remove this floor. Got our little forest going here. How well did this do? 49% grown, 49. So yeah, I've got about halfway through. This one a little bit less, probably started afterwards. Ah, well, there's a few high ones. You know, I kind of want to just get into all this rich soil here. You know, hopefully if things go well, we're out of here before we get to that. But now that we're... Now that we've got all this planted and that work is done, um, I kind of like the idea of having like a regular, regular wood coming in uh, without us having to set those chop jobs. Now the question is, will these guys plant here knowing it's not growing season? And they probably won't, but oh, and I can't even force them to. Yeah. That's too bad. Uh, I mean, I guess the, the tiny saplings won't survive the winter or something, but... I mean, I know they don't actively grow during the winter because of the temperature, but it would still be nice to get them down now so we don't have to waste time during our actual growing season that could be spent towards, you know, kind of our other crops and things. Uh, we'll go ahead and deconstruct this, uh, these sandbags from the siege. Still some steel to haul in. Not a bad amount. Got some blocks to haul in. A little bit more deconstruction to do here. Uh, exotic goods traders left comms range, <laughs> comms range. That made me nervous for a second, but we did trade with them. So we're all good there. We'll get a little granite. Someone is doing some stone cutting, I guess. It's nice to see a block up here. Um, yeah, the visitor is just hanging around. Really falling behind on our hauling. Although it's good to see all the bodies end up over here instead of out here. Um... You know, we did have some actual goods laying around recently, like this insect jelly. Yeah, we're about to lose this, which is kind of a bummer, uh, times six. That's how bad the hauling has gotten. We've got a new alpaca baby. Allie has just given birth. It's around here somewhere, I'm sure. We'll go ahead and make sure that uh, it's where we want it. Alpaca two. Uh, so you, alpaca four gave birth to you. Sorry, uh, Allie four. We've got Paco the fourth. Um, 
And you are a female, a male. So you're going to be Paco the Fifth, I think, right? Didn't I see Paco the Fourth somewhere? Uh, I'm getting all mixed up now. Um, yeah, we're going to make you Paco the Fifth. Okay. There you are. And yeah, you're staying in Grays. Excellent. Should keep you as safe as we can make you, pretty much. Starvation. Okay, so we got Tired Apparel. Arison has still not stopped making smoke leaf. Oh, wait. Oh, you, you picked up a shield in the meantime. Okay, as usual. I really wish they wouldn't do that. Uh, so we'll take care of this one at a time here. Um, probably not more important than the Julian starvation. You're eating now. You're okay. Got a little wood uh, stacked up here. That's nice to see. Um, but yeah, I think we have enough blocks to finish. Where was it? Yes, here. Uh, so we'll, we'll do two rows. That should be more than they can break through before they all burn to death. Should they infest over here uh, and we'll go with I guess we have lots of sandstone it's the weakest but still two layers thick um, should be plenty especially given that the bugs don't really know where to break through they kind of it seems like they just kind of attack at random so the likelihood of them drilling out a straight line to get out as fast as possible isn't terribly high I don't think how are our components doing 156 still so I won't queue up this mining job yet for these meteors that we have uh, yeah, right, like these things. This, we, we I do not want to lose these components out here. So, Kimmy, you will never do hauling. We have a lot of never do haulers. You get these, then these, then these, then these, then these. And I'm sorry, sorry if you're, like, extremely hungry and don't eat uh, before you finish that, but you look like you're going to be okay. So, we'll get that stuff in. we got a cougar prowling around out here. One year old. A few mega sloths on the map. Uh, how is the wildlife looking? Yeah, I'll leave it alone for now, given our meat reserves seem fairly high. We hunted a bunch of buffalo last episode. So we're okay there. We'll pick it up. Um, let's see. Oh, I haven't opened the map here. Um, oh, right. We do have this outpost. Gold and plasteel. The gold we don't so much need. The plasteel we will eventually need, but only 75 doesn't seem like it's completely worth the risk of taking on 11 enemies. Although it is fun to go to these outposts. Hmm. Yeah, 75 plasteel. It's not quite in it. Th things will start coming our way, I'm sure. There'll be quest opportunities. Um... All right, so this ship engine was finished, and this one's now going up. All the materials have been delivered. Mike's going at it. I guess the um, psychic drone is over, so what I'm going to do is just clear force on all these guys. Mike, uh, Big Red. Oh, Kimmy got her marine helmet, right? Um, a tinny and Julian. So when it's convenient for them, they'll take off those helmets and go put on you know, a steel advanced helmet or something. So that is fairly easy to manage. I guess we can sort of get one of these up and going. Um, you know, I kind of want to uh, fill up. I kind of want to fill up uh, all the structural beams now that we can fly. As soon as this ship is done, this thing is ready to turn on. Uh, it's just a matter of getting enough uh, transport pods to get as many people out as we can. So, okay, our room has been. Infested. I'm, I'm very curious to see how that pans out. Uh, but just to continue this thought, before we build any more structural beam, beams, I would like to just fill all these out as much as we can. And then once those are filled out, then we'll start adding more if we get that far. Um, so I'll go ahead and build... Um, let's see, we'll go for... Now this isn't something they can overlap... Um, or walk through, rather. And it has to be the head that's connected. Okay. So we could also put one there. But I don't know if we'll need to. Um, we'll start with three. That's plenty. That'll eat into our resources pretty fast. Okay. So what we're going to do is get Lady and Atini out of there. Get them out here. We're going to not hold this door open anymore. So when they pass through it, it'll close behind them. Oh, shit. Is that what we want to do? These guys are both melee. Do we want to kind of do that thing where we 
We could get three meleeers here to take them on. And all attack them one at a time. And then once they've taken enough damage, we can fall back. And maybe I'll hold this door open to make it easier. So yeah, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we try that. This could be a little too dangerous. But we'll get you guys... Um, like... Right there and there. And you're already going there. Yeah, where's another... Uh, let's get Burton out here. And you go there. Now, the bugs won't be able to get out. We'll be able to take them one-on-one. -on -one. The problem is the Mega Spiders are quite, you know, tough and tanky. So it might not be the smartest move to take these guys on one-on-one. -on -one. Or at melee range, rather. Uh, but we'll eventually lead them through here into our traps. And, uh, you know, we could use some traps here. All right. In the meantime, everyone else... Let's get you drafted and kind of in this general area. And I'll move you around later. Philly, you as well. And Julian... Antico. Um, let's get you guys kind of up here. And let's see what we're dealing with. And I don't even know if they're going to be con confined to this room even. So, Oh, Tinny, you are not melee. That changes this quite a bit. Um, how's Burton? Is it going to be there too quickly? So let's have you back up one. Atini. Lady, you'll stand there blocking the door. How's your health looking? Yeah, I mean, you're okay. Your gear? You've got the vest, you've got the pants, you've got the helmet. And a shield belt. Okay, we'll let it go. I don't think we're going to have time to get in position to do what we want to do here. Here comes Julian. Here comes Burton. Yeah, okay, so it's not a huge amount. And taking them on in this fashion is probably dumb. If we had three, though, it wouldn't be the worst idea ever. We're catching a small break here in that the small ones are getting up here first. Although Lady's already taken some damage here. Okay, no immediate danger. A few cuts and bruises. Uh, so if Burton can actually get in position, we might want to hold this line a bit longer. So now Mega Spiders reach the front. That makes it a bit trickier. Um... Lady, how you holding up? Dead in 17 hours. Alright, I'm going to start getting you guys in position. Arison. I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it this way. NG, Mike, Mal, Lines, um, Charge Rifle, Julian, pop in here. Philly, you can pop back here. Huber, another Charge Rifle. Um, go here. Yeah, that's fine. Chaco with your frailness. Oh, did I put Eris in the wrong spot again? Yeah, I did. I want you here. I want Pacheco there. Big Red Sniper. Kimmy Sniper. Nelson. Okay. And you guys, I think it is time to fall back. Um, I don't like this, actually. I think we're probably going to get hit from behind, and someone's going to might end up going down here. I think with just Lady, it was maybe a mistake. Atini, you go ahead and stop here. Yeah, fire past Lady. We're gonna we're counting on you to make some good shots here, and we're no longer gonna hold this open just to buy us a little bit more time and get them right up here where we want them. But they can kind of force their way through doors now before they close. Where I think it used to be, they had to kind of wait a cycle. Um, let's get you guys all just maybe straight down here. Seems like it's mostly the best way to avoid fire. Lady might have taken a shot from a sniper turret. Yeah, Lady just took it. was riddled by her own shots. Uh, well, maybe not, actually. Okay, I guess a Mega Spider got you. This little thing maybe got you, the Spellopede? You're a Mega Scarab, actually. Yeah, the mouth bit you on the right arm. Maybe Who knows what finally took you down. It looked like you were absorbing tons of bullets. Uh, let's get you guys over here. We'll get a melee guy waiting back in case they get close. I don't know. Lady's in a bit of trouble. Um, luckily, Lady wasn't too close to one of these mines, actually. This is a bit precarious. Um, why don't you j uh, come up this way? We'll have you go... Th let's see. I, I want you to go there and then go there. I, I forget to queue up mo movement sometimes, which is not the... Which you can do to kind of go the path you want, you know. 
Yeah, see, this is not a safe spot around here. Uh, Huber, go ahead and get in the doorway. Okay, uh, I'm going to have a melee or go and melee attack a few guys to death. I think that's everyone. Let's unrecruit. Um, Julian, I still want you to do this melee attack to death stuff. Hopefully someone is grabbing Lady without me having to say. Yeah, it looks like Burton or Mike. Mike's going to consume a fine meal that he that Lady dropped. I feel like we're kind of splintering. Oh, you're rescuing Lady. Okay. Okay, <laughs> the hope for camaraderie is, lives, I guess. Um, yeah, okay, so that wasn't so bad, but, um, you know, I think it'd be cleaner if that mining hut became some sort of fire room. If we could protect the drills. And I'm not sure if we can do that with stone. Uh, because I'm, I'm not sure if the superheated air will eventually cause, cause them to catch on fire. But if we can, I think that's the better way going forward. So maybe we'll, we'll just have to test it with them. Um, next time we move the mines. Um, okay, so this is set to auto rearm, auto rearm. This wasn't tripped. Uh, ladies sword we'll go ahead and bring in man that's that those hit points are getting down there still says 9.46 um, I don't know what effect if any the hit points are having on the weapon effectiveness like is it just going to not be usable once it gets to zero or is it gradually becoming less effective on its way to zero I thought it gradually became less effective, but 9.46 feels like its base value. Um, let's see, we better get these doors closed. It's colder than I re realize outside. Um, oh, we do want to hold one open, actually. Atini is watching television. Okay. All right, so I guess we're good. We didn't lose any drills or resources, so that's, that's something. Um, lady, I guess you're up and moving. You're all bandaged up. Um, so since you're up, after you consume that fine meal, come and get your sword, which is probably still laying out here. Yeah. Reserved by Ares. Ares is hauling it. So go ahead and... Ares. Ares has been hauling all over the place lately, I feel like. Where do you go, Ares? A little husky. One year old. We've got Jack the Mega Sloth who bonded with Matthew, it looks like. Um, your training is inching along. Your wildness is extremely high, so it's a bit tough. But we'll get there. Man, our raw resources room is filling up. Um, a lot of it's silver, which I would love to spend. Lady's about to break. Intense pain, recreation unfulfilled. Yeah, you are a miner. What have you been doing? You've got four that you've been doing. Dexterity, cerebral, you're bored of cerebral, you're bored of chemical consumption. You can still watch TV or just relax in solitude. Uh, Huber's fully healed from his social fight. I was eating, talking to Mal. This kitchen's a bit dirtier than I would like. A lot dirtier than I would like. Uh... Burton was inspired. Oh, and here we go. This engine has been completed. Um, a little uh, electrical. We haven't had one of those in a while, but Philly's on it. No problem. Still haven't seen three people on a drill yet. Atene, are you still wearing your uh, psychic foil helmet? Why are you wearing that? Oh, you're not even allowed to go into that room. Yeah, it's another problem. Uh, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to draft you to, to fix this. Uh, we'll take go get this steel advanced helmet. I'm guessing Lady has the same problem. Oh, Lady was never um, Lady was never given a foil helmet. Okay. So here comes a tinny back with his normal helmet, undrafted. You can go back to doing what you're doing. Uh, blocks starting to creep up. Uh, do we get this? first layer down here. Yeah, our construction's pretty much ready to go when, uh, when we have a job to do. Let's go. Limestone will make me feel a bit better. Oh, this is going to be a little bit tricky, actually. We've got to do one at a time. We can do these, I guess. 
Then this one, then, then that one. Okay. We'll babysit this just so I can see it finish. Bodies piling up over here. Yeah, this is kind of when we run out of animal food. We have one cannibal that comes over here and does some butchering, and we take the mood hit to everyone else. But it provides meat for our kibble. But uh, we've got so much insect meat, it hasn't really been necessary. And who is it that is our... Oh, you know... Um, someone's fighting. Uh, I, I missed the social fight. I'm trying to remember who it was that um, is our cannibal. Oh, is it Burton? No. I'm starting to think I'm forgetting about someone. You're a psychopath. It's good to know. Huber. Oh, it was Huber. There was a psychopath, right. So Huber does the butchering. He's not a uh, cannibal. Although I thought we had a cannibal. Yes, it's Mal. Okay. Mal's over here making some advanced components, it looks like. Excellent. Um, so what are we doing on resources over here? Oh, we did get this drilled out. Do we waste steel on this? I mean, we. This, where is our steel? I guess it's sort of laying around, but I, I guess we don't, you know. I do like putting the power lines in the walls, but uh, given our steel situation, I, I will resist in this in this uh, situation. Uh, yeah, we're just waiting on advanced components for this. Uh, a little steel in advance for that. Uh, yeah, plants are going to continue to die from the cold. Some juvenile ones that we couldn't harvest. Um... Although some might have grown a little bit more and gotten mature, but yeah, we're pretty much they're pretty much gone. Cougar, that's ours. Continue drilling while ladies asleep. Do you continually get mood debuffs? Disturb I mean disturb sleep times three. That's not bad. You know, one per. Considering there's a, a mining drill going off. You know, a few feet from your bed. Negative three doesn't seem so bad. It doesn't seem as bad as eating without a table, but uh I mean, it seems a lot worse than eating without a table, but, it, you know, evidently not. And I'm thankful for that. Uh, caravan request. What do we got? Whoa. Bowler hat 105. Can we do this? This will be crucial, I think, for defending our ship when we're trying to take off. If we can just send a few of these at a wave or, or one per wave. This could be massive for our defense before we get out of here. Now, 105 bowler hats. Bowler hats require the fewest materials of any garment. Um, now, let's go ahead and suspend you. We can live with 10 cowboy hats. We'll copy you and paste you. We'll kind of do what we did with the cowboy hat here, except where it was 105, right? Of normal or better. Just throw a five on the end of that. That's a lot of materials. That's 2,000 and... Well, over 2,000... Uh, well, we'll call it 2,000 what? Uh, 100? 2,100 materials? I mean, if we open it up to cloth, we could do it. What's our leather situation like? We've got this much blue fur. We typically use that for our... Yeah, we might have to dig into that a bit. I mean, for the anti-grain warheads, I think it's worth it. I don't want to eat into the cloth. Eh... I guess I wouldn't mind. I just don't want to use up all the cloth. Alpaca wool, yes. We, we produce a lot of it. Blue furs from the muffalo. No. But go ahead and use the heavy fur. Okay, let's start with this and see where we get. We also have this 10 Parker bill, which I'll suspend. Those are kind of just to sell. Uh, these top four are for our own colonists, so we'll, we'll continue to prioritize those. But uh, getting our hands on five anti-grain warheads, you know, could, could certainly save some lives when we're trying to get out of here. And I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, I haven't done any research at, at all on uh, what happens when we fire up the ship engines. I just know that once we turn them on, we have to, it takes, I think the game says 15 days, maybe a full season. Uh, and there are constant attacks during that time. And I don't know what constant means exactly. We got Mike off to a great start with the bowler hats. Um, but then we have other things to make first. Do we not have enough materials for these parkas? 
Uh, Devil Strand Hyperweave, yes. Priority one. Priority two is what? Mega Slopmull, okay, Alpaca Wool, and uh, you know what, let's go Blue Fur. That's an oversight there. Heavy Fur, all the really warm stuff for our own colonists we want to make sure we include. I guess Bear Skin's probably good. Yeah, I'll have to look at it. And Fox Fur's probably not bad either, but we'll do this. Excuse me, okay. Um, got a bunch of half-finished jobs in here. NG with three uh, work left on this parka. Little cowboy hat going that won't be finished given the suspended bill. So I'm going to cancel that. To, well, eh, we'll get to it eventually. It's a little bit ugly on the ground there. Actually, it's a lot ugly. Minus eight. Yeah, let's go ahead and cancel that. Is it more ugly when it's half finished? Yeah, it's minus five. It's just a stack of materials, but a half finished uh, cowboy hat or parka was a minus eight. Cargo pods. Always love to see the cargo pods. Now, we're getting a lot of alpaca wool cargo pods. I feel like this is like, you know, three out of the last five or so. All right, cool. Well, yeah, we'll start plugging away. Is this another bowler hat? All right, way to go. Um, drop on floor. We're not doing that with the bowler hats, evidently. Yeah, just drop on floor. Um, save a little bit of time. Our haulers can come and grab it. Um, yeah, do that for all of these. Well, that one's probably permanently suspended, but... Now, for those who don't care as much, um... But for what we're doing now, yeah, just drop this on the floor, start cranking these out. Angie's finishing her parka, probably, it looks like, or did she just make that? For some reason, this parka is not being... Like, the... the what, what kind of material is it? Wool, alpaca wool. Uh, yeah, I understand it's not part of this. This is the the two high end. This includes alpaca wool. Hmm. We only have one of three. It's a higher priority. Oh, Mal has one going. Mal, you cancel yours. Well, you could have both worked on it. I mean, oh, only one person can work on a bill at a time. Okay, so even though we need to make two more, they don't. Want, once a name shows up here, the other person cannot jump in and help out. Because it would be nice for NG to finish this since there's three work left. Let's double check how much time we have. I don't remember even looking. 19 days. It shouldn't be that big a deal considering how fast we're cranking them out. Yeah, we're already a, basically a fifth of the way there. Almost exactly one fifth of the way. Oh no, we are exactly one fifth of the way. I'm about to pass that. Uh... Oh, so Mike's... Okay, so damn it. Yeah, Mike just... <laughs> I totally just wasted time there. Mike jumped back on this bill. Started a new parka. Fine, I'll let him, I'll let him have it. Uh, and I think we'll leave it there. But when we come back, we'll try and get this bill finished. We'll continue uh, chipping away at our ship. We got one more pod down. That's great to see. Uh, and we'll go after those anti-grain warheads because that will be huge when it comes time to uh, flip on this engine. Flip on these engines. And start attracting some enemies. And we'll have to think about... Other defenses we want to set up. We'll probably want to double wall all of this and keep this thing safe. Because, I mean, that would just be heartbreaking if they destroyed parts of our ship. And then maybe we'd have to start the whole process over again. I don't know how that would work. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll continue next time. Thanks very much, guys. I'll see you then.